<laughs> Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> if you're a brand new visitor to my YouTube channel and you don't know what my videos are all about, uh, check out my other videos. I normally talk about movies, comic books, video games. I do hauls, reviews, unboxings. If that's the type of thing you're into, you may want to check out my other content. And if you like what you see, do subscribe. So today, we're actually going to talk about another video game series. I don't have a lot of stuff related to this series, but people keep asking me if I can make a video about it. Uh, <clears throat> I don't have like, you know, there's action figures and comic books and there's like, you know, tons of statues and uh, different spin-offs and stuff like that. It's like, uh, this game uh, series is something that has like multiple entries and stuff like that. I don't have everything, you know, but uh, people say, David, we don't care if you own every single game, just, just show what, you, what, what you got, you know? We know you're a fan of the series. Go ahead and just talk about it. Tell us what you know, and we'll just go from there, you know? So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk, talk about Mortal Kombat today. <clears throat> As you can see, I got the video games, the movies, the web series. We got Tiger Handheld Games, comic books back there. I actually have a costume of one of the characters. I was wearing my Sub-Zero costume earlier. We're gonna talk about one of the most successful fighting game franchises in video game history, Mortal Kombat. All right. I would say that um, Mortal Kombat, Tekken, uh, Street Fighter are probably one of the top three fighting game series out there when it comes to video games. Uh, Mortal Kombat especially was, was known for huge controversy, you know, because of the amount of violence, the amount of blood, the amount of gore in the game. It's probably one of the reasons why we have ratings in video games today. I, I remember they uh, talk about it in the news and stuff like that, you know, should kids be playing video games? Should we ban video games, you know, because of Mortal Kombat? Uh, Mortal Kombat was first developed by Midway Games, and then they went, uh, they went bankrupt or something like that. And then Warner Brothers bought the rights to all the characters and all the, the, the whole series, the whole franchise, and turned it into NetherRealm Studios. So, so, so that's who uh, is taking care of it. Now, I just I tell you, I don't have everything. You know, I don't have every version out there and stuff like that. Uh, but I will kind of talk about it. If there's, like, multiple different versions of it or whatever, I'll, I'll mention it. But uh, I don't have everything here, you know. The, the original Mortal Kombat was on a huge cabinet, you know. It's like... Those things you see in arcades, you know, huge TVs uh, attached to big uh, stand-up cabinets in, in, in arcades and movie theaters and stuff like that. I don't have those things. I just have this. <laughs> this is all I have. So, <clears throat> so yeah, let's go through the entire series. Now, I'll just go through everything else I have here, all right? So, I don't have the first, or the original Mortal Kombat game, but Mortal Kombat came out in 1992. And from the get-go, you can only play with seven characters. That's right. That's right. In the original Mortal Kombat game, you can only pick seven characters. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't until Mortal Kombat 2 uh, in 1993. More, the original Mortal Kombat came out in 1992. And then a year later, in 1993, they came out with Mortal Kombat 2, which has all the iconic characters we, we know today, like Baraka, Jax, Kitana, Melina. We didn't have those characters until uh, Mortal Kombat 2. Okay? Mortal Kombat 3... Uh, actually, I do have something that can rep uh, well represent Mortal Kombat 3 here. I got Mortal Kombat Trilogy. There's also other versions out there like Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Um, <clears throat> there was like an HD version for a Mortal Kombat arcade collection. They released a lot of uh, different versions for Mortal Kombat 3. I actually have Mortal Kombat Trilogy here in a special, special case. This is for PlayStation 1. Came out in 1995. Uh, it introduced new characters like Cyrax. Nightwolf, Shiva, Sindel, you know, a lot of iconic characters that we know today as part of the main uh, Mortal Kombat series. So that came out in 1995. I'm going to go ahead and put it right there, okay? Uh, Mortal Kombat 4, I also got a special box for it for PlayStation. It's got Goro in the front cover right there. Um, <clears throat> a new dimension of combat, yeah. Mortal Kombat 4 came out in 1997. There was one called Mortal Kombat Gold. For Dreamcast, that's actually just Mortal Kombat 4, okay? It introduced new characters like Quan Chi. Uh, it was actually one of the first games to have 3D computer graphics, you know? The previous games, you know, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, they actually took pictures of people uh, and then turned them into sprites into the game. So that, that was one of the things about controversy uh, in the game. was like, you know, it's all about, you know, ripping people's arms out and pulling the spine out of the, their backs and whatever. And uh, it's like actual pictures of people that's doing that, you know? So that was like a huge thing, but 
starting with Mortal Kombat 4, we actually turn all the characters into computer graphics, polygons, stuff like that, okay? Um, also, around the same time as Mortal Kombat 4, 1997, they released a game called Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero. I do not have that game, but it's a side-scrolling prequel to the entire Mortal Kombat series. It centers mainly on Sub-Zero, uh, Quan Chi was also in it, and it basically tells us like uh, what happened to these characters before the original Mortal Kombat, you know? So the next game we have in the series came out in 2000, Mortal Kombat's uh, Special Forces for, um, for PlayStation 1. Now, I don't have that game either, alright? But that, that game was, like, known as the worst title in the Mortal Kombat series. That's what people say, okay? I think it developed a cult following much more later on, but I think for the most part, no one even talks about Special Forces, Mortal Kombat Special Forces for PlayStation 1. Jax was the main character of it. I don't even know what the game looks like, all right? I don't even know what the game freaking looks like. But everyone says it's bad, don't play it, so I didn't play it, all right? I, I, I didn't get it. A lot of people, like, because of that game, they don't even play Mortal Kombat anymore. They stay away from the series because of it. So... Pretty sad, you know. Uh, well, I have Deadly Alliance in my hand right here. This game came out in 2002, alright? It was the first Mortal Kombat game that was made exclusively for consoles. For the first time, it was out of arcades. Mortal Kombat wasn't, you know, it started out in arcade games and they released ports of it onto consoles. This one started on consoles, okay? Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, a fight so brutal, so evil, so deadly is what it says right there. Um, for the first time ever, and I think this is the only Mortal Kombat game ever that ever did this, Liu Kang cannot be a playable character. You see him in cutscenes and stuff like that, like he was in the intro, but you cannot play as Liu Kang. Liu Kang cannot be playable in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, alright? Uh, there was also another version for Game Boy Advance. It was called Mortal Kombat Tournament Edition for Game Boy Advance. That's Deadly Alliance, okay? They just ported the game for, for Game Boy Advance, alright? The next game in the series <clears throat> was uh, Mortal Kombat Deception. Here I have Mortal Kombat Deception right here um, for, for, for PlayStation 2. Uh, Mortal Kombat Deception was also called Mortal Kombat Unchained for the PSP. The PSP version, Mortal Kombat Unchained, is actually Mortal Kombat Deception ported onto PSP. All right, fight one on one MK Online for the first time ever. First time online? Is that true? I actually don't know about that, I, I, uh, but I guess if it says so right, so right here, then I guess it's true. Oh, Conquest! There was a, there's a new mode in here called Conquest Mode. Conquest with a K. <laughs> it was an RPG-style game where you can unlock stuff and all that. It's like an uh, RPG adventure sort of game. There's also other stuff here. Like t Take a look at this. There's was a chess combat, a puzzle combat. Like They had a lot of modes in this one, okay? Mortal Kombat Deception came out in 2004. All right. The next game we have here, I got for Xbox, the original Xbox, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Okay, came out in 2005. Uh, it, it only focuses on Liu Kang and Kung Lao, and it's not a fighting game, by the way. This one is different. Um, it's got 3D graphics and all that stuff, but it's not. It's actually, it's not actually a fighting game. There's fighting in it. You know, there's fighting in it, but it's not actually a, a fighting game. You know what I'm saying? But it's, got, it's more like an action adventure brawler type game. You know. Uh, you run, and you fight minions and stuff like that, you fight boss battles. Look at that. HD 480p graphics, that's funny. 480p. <laughs> um, okay, next thing we have here is Mortal Kombat Armageddon for 2006. Okay, um, I got it for PlayStation 2 right here. The end of the world is in your hands. Finish it. I, I like these little quotes in the back, the back here. Um, oh, create a fighter. For the first time ever, you can actually create your own fighter in the game. You have like 60-some characters in the game. That, that was like, Mortal Kombat Armageddon was cool because it had 60 characters from the get-go. You get any game today, you know, like Mortal Kombat X, I just played it, and it only had like a, you know, like a dozen, a couple dozen characters. This one has 60 characters. No DLCs, you don't have to buy any new characters or anything like that. From the get-go, you buy the game, you go home, 60 characters right out of the box. Amazing, right? So, 2006, and, and not only that, you actually create your own characters too. Give them their own skills, you know? Choose a class for them, what type of uh, uh, looks and hair color and stuff like that. You can actually choose all that stuff. So, 60 characters right out of the box, plus you can create your own. 
absolutely amazing. I, 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 I still love this game today, you know? Um, 2008 came out with Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe, alright? Now, <clears throat> this was kind of a precursor to Injustice, which was made from the same people, which is mainly focused only on the DC characters. But it's really cool, you know, it's really cool just to see, you know, the Joker, uh, you know, Scorpion. It's like, it's like a, 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 it's something for the fans, you know? Batman fighting the Flash, Flash but, but, uh, and Sub-Zero, and, and uh, you know, seeing <laughs> uh, Raiden fighting you know, Superman is really, really weird, you know? So, uh, yeah, there it is. I actually did not like it very much, to be honest with you, but it was, it was cool just to see the characters fighting together. Um, let's see. And then after that, uh, it kind of it kind of changed, you know. They actually rebooted the series. So, Mortal Kombat. Here it is. I got uh, two versions of it. One for PS3. I used to play with my friend Brian, Demon Knight three one six, on a PlayStation Network. Okay, we played like King, King of the Hill and stuff like that. He always beat me. He's really good at this game. Um, but I also have here for the PlayStation Vita. All right. I was actually going to trade in this game. I was like, you know what? I, I like Mortal Kombat. Let's keep the keep keep the king. Uh, one of the more special things about this, uh, you can actually play as Kratos from God of War and Freddy Krueger. Like, look, look, you can actually see Freddy Krueger on the front front cover right there. So that was really cool, you know, see see new characters and stuff like that. As, as a matter of fact, after they introduced Freddy Krueger in that one, people wanted to play as Jason Voorhees. Uh, which they actually did in this one. Okay, I've been playing this game for the past couple days. I played on stream. You actually see my first stream on, on YouTube, if you guys want. Uh, it's there, you know. Got for half half price, 15 bucks. It was originally $29.99, so I was really glad. Uh, used copy, though. There's another version out there called Mortal Kombat XL. Um, it has all the DLC characters and stuff like that. Um, introduced in 2015. Android game and iOS versions are also available, okay? It also introduced us with new characters like Cassie Cage and Jackie Briggs. You know, oh, the cool thing about this game, you actually play as Aliens and Predators, you know? Alien vs. Predators. You can play as those characters too, you know? Um, Jason from Friday the 13th is also in this game also. So I've been playing this game, still, this is still in my system, you know? You can see me play, uh, play it uh, online if you want. Now, I also do have here the movies. There's actually been Mortal Kombat movies through the years. Now, there's been, there's been like an animated TV series, I think. I've never watched it. Um, there was webisodes on, online. Um, there, was, there was a ton of the series, or live action versions of, of the uh, of Mortal Kombat. And one of my favorite live action things, really, is there, there's a YouTube video where uh, Scorpion is fighting the uh, uh, Tommy, the, the Power Rangers, you know? I love that video. I don't know if you guys have seen that video. It's like, it's like really cool. And um, yeah, it's one of my favorite live action versions of Mortal Kombat. You know, the costume was great and all that stuff too. I thought it was much more better than the costume in, in these movies. Um, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Annihilation. The first one was not as bad. And then they recasted a bunch of the, like, I think there's only like two characters that came back uh, for the second movie, okay? They killed, they killed Johnny Cage like in the first, I don't know, like first ten minutes of the movie or something like that. Maybe even earlier. Um, but I like it, you know, I like it for what it is. I, I need to rebuy this, this set though. Because um, the game, uh, the, um, the movie is in full screen. I was watching the other day, and I was like, man, they just stretched out the image, you know, on my widescreen TV. I need to get this game again, I, 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 this movie again, on uh, Blu-ray or something, because uh, it's kind of annoying to watch it in, in full screen, all right? So there it is. I also have here Mortal Kombat Legacy, and Legacy 2, all right? Um, they try to make the a more real world and stuff like that. I enjoyed it. Visually stunning. Like, to me, I really like it visually. It's, a, it's really pretty to look at, all right? I also have here the handheld game for Mortal Kombat, okay? It's got, it's from Tiger. Back when I was a little kid, they had these for everything. Like, they had Aladdin and Little Mermaid, and you can get, like, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, and, and there was a Jurassic Park game, which I also do have, and Street Fighter. There was, like, Full House, and there was, like, you know, really weird games that, that they released on Tiger handhelds. But these are everywhere. 
everywhere and they were cheap you know i used to have like i used to bring this to school and people would like trade them and play with each other's games and stuff like that but really different now before i played more combat x because i didn't play it until uh I, 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 I never played mkx until like months after it was released and i have here the comic books for the mkx movie this is this is actually a prequel to the actual uh story so uh, this one has sub-zero and this one has uh uh, the, this one has Sub-Zero on it. This one has Scorpion on it. Okay, uh, Pretty cool. I never read the entire series. But yeah, that was, uh, that was something to show you guys. And you saw my costume. I was, like, was going to wear this to Comic-Con one year. And I decided, you know, maybe I should make my own costume. And I, I, I dressed as, uh, as a Green Lantern and stuff. But uh, it's nice to have uh, options. You know, So I have Mortal Kombat. I have Sub-Zero's costume right here. In case I ever need to wear it for whatever reason. Any type of costume part. It's really easy to just to slip on. You now, here's the mask. I didn't take that whole thing out because it's a huge, huge production because to put it on, even though it's easy to put on, it's still there's a lot of pieces, okay? Pieces slip on really quickly, but I'm not gonna. You can barely see me right now, you know? <laughs> Why well, am I gonna put on full costume when I, and all, all you see is my hand? Like, you see, like, see, see my, my nice hands right here, okay? That's it for Mortal Kombat. There's. You know, tons of other stuff out there. Action figures through the years. You know, there's like the PSP version and Game Boy Advance version, and there was like Mythology Sub Zero and all that stuff. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. You know, I like Mortal Kombat, but I'm not gonna buy the same game over and over again. You know, different ports for different systems and all that stuff. But uh, there it is, my Mortal Kombat collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. How far are we in time? I've talked for like over 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and get, let's just stop right there, okay? Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I do have tons of other collection videos on my YouTube channel, okay? I talk about Call of Duty and Battlefield and Halo and Tomb Raider and Metal Gear and, you know, Grand Theft Auto. Everyone knows about the Grand Theft Auto. It's got the biggest, most views on my YouTube channel. But there it is, Mortal Kombat. People ask for it. I, I mean, here it is. Uh, I, I show it to you, you know. I don't have t-shirts and posters and all that stuff, but what you see here should be satisfying enough. I, I just gave you a pretty good history of Mortal Kombat. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Which one's your favorite Mortal Kombat game? Comment below. Let me know. Talk guys later. Bye-bye.